Hey guys, welcome back to another video right here. And oh, that's, <coughs> that's amazing. It's completely empty right now, but it smells like a boxing gym. But yes, it smells like a gym. It smells like in the, in the gym right here. It's like out. It's like an electric scent out there. You know, it's really good as well. The uh, atmosphere was top of notch. Who my opponent is for September 29th, yes. it is none other than Adam Salah's best friend, Slim. I knew it. I really knew the name. I knew it on the very start. I knew it. I knew it. That is a guy told me who says Slim. September 29th in London against Adam Salah's best friend, Slim. Wow. That was going to be in London. Jesus Christ. I hope my dad's going to be. I hope my, me and my dad takes me to boxing match. <coughs> Jesus Christ, my throat is killing me now. Who's also a fellow YouTuber. Now this fight is hosted by Amir Khan Promotions. <gasps> Amir Khan Promotions. If you do know Amir Khan, he's a clever boxing in Britain. One well, of the best British boxers in history. Like some, some like um, uh, the Asian British Muslim stuff and everything like that. It's so cool, it's going to be like some fantastic stuff. Right here, this is a poster right here. This is the best poster. <coughs> Amir Khan's Promotions X, Amir Khan Foundation, Fight Night, Slim versus Fousey, six rounds, September 29th, York Hall, London, London York Hall, that's London York Hall in Bethnal Green, Hackney. Doors open 2 p.m. We have the Amstar right here logo and over here as well. Winfinity, Single Muslim, All Star. And here we are, that's all the sponsors, all the sponsorships there. And the best part about it is, we ain't making money out of this. It's 100% for charity. It'll be wow. a charity boxing match for Yemen. But the reason... Oh, for Yemen. history behind this fight, as oh. sure a lot of you... I want to type it on the Google one. Yemen, we care. I want to type it on Google. I know it's slow. I know it's my, I know the, um, my internet is a little bit slower, but... Give us a toss about that. I need to pause there. Wait for. Oh, here we are. <coughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. We care. I uh, know we're sure. We, yeah, man. There's a charity. There's a charity of all of us. I want to type the charity. Yeah, man. We care. Sure, a lot of you guys know yeah. is that there's a little bit of a problem between my side and their side right now. Yeah. Last year, the best thing of my life happened, and it was when yeah. me and Adam Salah became friends again. That was. Honestly, yeah. the highest time of my wow. life, literally the highest, because if you remember how high I was for July 15th, but you know what I mean, it was a very high time of my yeah. life, I was yeah. so happy that we were able to squash all our past differences, and that was quite cool, and that was cool, and it was a great, Amazing. great, great time in my life. Now, I'm not going to lie, and I'm not going to project everything that I did wrong and say it was on their side, but I made a lot of mistakes last year, one of the wow. biggest mistakes being not continuing the tour that I was supposed with Adam Saleh. That's something I regret every single day and I apologize to him wholeheartedly for. It's something I'll never forget, never forgive myself for, especially for the stupid reason that I was doing of I'm going to introduce J. Cole at the Staples Center, so I'm not going to continue this tour with you. I wish I could take that back. I I'm not going to say hate myself for yeah. it every day because you're not supposed to hate yourself, but I hate yeah. that I made that decision. I'm not going to hate on you, Lucy. I know you I'm not going to hate you, just like Sam Pepper did, but... That decision. Last year, me and Adam had a small miscommunication. A minor miscommunication. A minute one. A tiny one. And the thing that hurt me the most was instead of talking to me about it, instead of reaching out to me about it, instead of being like, hey, can we talk? You're my friend and I'm... Yeah, I know you can talk to me because you're a friend. I know we care. We care, you know, care, but... Biggest way that you can get <coughs> on YouTube Jeez. in like I four like that. giant YouTube videos that absolutely demolished me last year. To this day, I never watched a single of those videos yeah. because to this day, I That's didn't want to wanna look at Adam any differently and I didn't want to look at him in a negative light. That guy was my brother, that guy was my friend, and no matter what he had uh, said, yeah, no, like, Mom, I, I know I'm feeling alright. I, I had no problems with and I didn't watch it to this day. But last 
Why do you feel like? I left the social media when those videos were dropping. I left the country social media? Oh. I don't care. Hey, that's cool. Thank you. So that was cool. And I didn't watch it to this day. But that last was cool. But I don't feel like that. I had left the country. I had left social media when those videos were dropping. And I told myself I was not going to post on social media no matter what was said. And during those times when those videos were being released, I didn't even watch them, don't even know what was being said. And millions and millions yeah. of people around the world were commenting and hating and sending yeah. negative energy. It felt like somebody grabbed my neck tight as they could and was choking me out because I couldn't say nothing. People wow. were able to just choke me and punch me as hard as Wow, wanted. just what happened to you did happen. In return, because I had left social media and it would have went against wow. everything if I had just come back to be like, no, that's not true, that's not true, this is what happened, this is what you did. Because I could have turned it into a YouTube beef, I could have came back with my retaliation, I could have said everything that I felt that team did wrong, I could have absolutely, you know, played that game, I could have fought, I could have done all of that, but I didn't do it because I had too much respect for everybody. <coughs> But yeah, I know that. Those did take a huge toll on my mental health last year. They absolutely destroyed me. It wow. was one of the worst times in my life, and it was one of the biggest pains I have gone through in a long time. Wow. Millions of people judging me over accusations, false accusations, true accusations, whatever they were, in a public manner, something so wow. minute and small that could have been handled privately, especially when there's so much that I could have said and so much yeah. that I could have exposed, but out of respect, I didn't do it. But, never said anything bad about Adam. Never said anything bad about their team. To this day, I won't say anything bad about Adam. I, I have too much respect. The best thing in my life was when I was friends with him. I've loved him as a brother. My mom and dad brought him and Slim into my house, cooked dinner for them. We hung out with them, treated them like family. And yes. I'm keep it that way, and I'm not going to disrespect so, so. them just for That's the That's hot touch him. But, I got hit up recently by Adam's team, and they asked me if I wanted to box Adam in the charity boxing match. Now, I wow. thought about that for about two seconds, and I was like, um, yeah. no. Adam is an amateur boxer. He's been boxing for years. This yes. is to be my first fight. It makes I thought you were going to fight Kerr Sain, no but no. Step in the ring against he him. has been voting no you as an egg. In the two months, I'm not signing up just to be the egg. <coughs> the Jesus Christ. Knocked out, so I declined. They then came back to me and said, fine, what about fighting? Slim. So now I had an opportunity. Everything Everyone hate roasted like last year, the same guy who laughed. The same guy, I heard it. Who the look at this dude, I didn't even know I care. I ignored that one. It's getting a little cringe. That roast. That roast laugh. Just like. And there we have it. I'm not my own one. I have no. I'm not my own roast by my own laugh. Fighting for so much this fight, so much that's just personal and internally that I have been holding in for the last year. Aside from fighting for charity and fighting for the good cause and putting on a good show, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of history and past that's brewing inside me from this fight, and that's why I'm doing everything that I can in the ring every single day to learn as much as I can. So when September 29th comes, I get that easy W, and I can stare at easy every w. single person easy in that arena. Who Easy to me. Raise my hand in the air after I get that win and say, Yeah, yeah. Y'all remember all that stuff you said? Yeah, you know that. I know you saw that. that. You gave me without knowing the true facts. Well, yeah, we still here. And we got that. Yeah, you know you. And if you want to see we're who still who here. And who, like, I'm fighting, I'm going to show We're still you here for this incredible incredible that life. That I know if you're right that as well. For this fight. Like, this is about to blow your mind. Yep. This is why I'm so terrified of my opponent. <coughs> so, so terrified too. I thought you were still I know you brave the beginning of the here's a picture of him now bruh bruh yeah that's why i'm scared that's why i'm terrified for this fight anyways i hope that gives you guys a little understanding about why i took this fight why it means so much to me and yeah I'm excited. London, September 29th for charity. Will be live streamed. You will be able to watch it here on this channel. Like I said, I'm not making any money off of it, so nope. it'll 
probably be a free live stream and i'm super 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 excited for this fight and i hope you guys wow. are too thank you guys so much that is so cool it's like the same one as thank you so much for KSI Joe 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 fight. fight. thank you so much for giving me the courage and strength make sure you do have a merch advice in the store i'm gonna see you on september 29th <laughs> <laughs> so yes i just told them who i'm fighting if I won't, I will watch it live. Remember, anything that you do say, like, you know, like, that I'm going to do, I have to do it. That's fine. We don't want to do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyways, guys, I'm about to get work done. I'm super excited. You want to be on camera or no? Hey! She's about to work on my shoulder. I'll tell you all about the pain right now. I love you guys so much. Yeah. Thank you guys Thanks for being so much. Here. I'll see you next time.